No, you're going to like this little chat. I got some notes now, so hopefully I don't run on and on forever. We want to talk about Alzheimer's disease. If you are a friend of country singer Glenn Campbell, or you know anybody who knows uh, the Tennessee basketball coach, uh, Pat Summit, right, who, they've both been diagnosed with Alzheimer's recently, would you please send them to the little note, to this little cliff note that we're going to do right now so you can get up to date on all the science. Right? Now, one of the first things I want to talk about is Dr. Uh, oh, what's it, Dr. Newport. Right? She found Right, she would give her husband had Alzheimer's disease, and she found that within five days, we given him a couple of tablespoons full of medium chain triglycerides, that she could tell a marked difference. That's in less than a week, and this man couldn't couldn't write. He couldn't. Okay, all right. So medium chain triglycerides, and they're found in coconut oil. In coconut oil. Okay. All right. Now remember, there are two factors that you have to be cognizant of when you're talking about Alzheimer's. Number one is beta amyloid, and that's plaque. All right, and number two is tau. We won't go into the, the whole word, all right, which is tangles. And that's between the neurons in the brain where they get uh, these little tangles in there and the, the messages won't go back and forth between the, between the neurons. Of course, you know what plaque is. Now, all right, how do you deal with plaque? All right, same way you deal with any other plaque in the human body. Plaque is what we call a rogue protein. How do you dissolve the rogue protein? Is you use proteolytic enzymes. All right, we found that uh, serapeptase and bromelain and papain are the best. Of the same thing that you use to dissolve the plaque in the arteries and in the kidneys. All right, the tau. Okay, here's where the big breakthrough comes in. The doctor is uh, the, for the study, and he'll probably, in all, without any doubt, receive a Nobel Prize. But it'll be a long time. All right, because he found. And this is Dr. Kim Green. He's the University of California at uh, Irvine, right? and what they started using was uh, niacinamide, which is a time-release niacin. Same thing that reduces the uh, LDL and, and raises the HDL in the blood and gets rid of triglycerides. Only thing is it's time-release, right? and now they're talking about a cure from that. Just had phenomenal results. And the whole thing with any of these things, I'm telling you, there's no downside. It's not going to hurt anything. Now, a couple of other little things. Now, that's the basics. Now, I'll tell you another couple of things that you remember that the HDLs that we talked about are the natural inhibitors of the Alzheimer's, the beta amyloid, the plaque that we talked about. Okay? Uh, that Alzheimer's is really kind of a third uh, type of diabetes. Therefore, your vitamin D3, the colocalciferol, is extremely beneficial, as are the. Uh, the uh, ALAs, okay, and this is this is part of your uh, your complex, all right. Uh, it's alpha lipoic acid, all right. That's the the uh, oh I want to say the babysitter for the brain. Okay, that gets our three minutes. We'll have a long discussion of this later, but this is something that you can send on to other people very easily. Thank you.